Hallo, willkommen bei Lady Mary Beth. Ich lade Sie zu einem Kaffee ein. Wir zeigen unseren Freunden, wie man in Deutschland Kaffee und Kuchen genießt. Welcome to Lady Mary Beth. Join me for traditional German coffee and cake. I'll tell you all about this wonderful tradition. A German Kaffee und Kuchen, or coffee and cake, is equivalent to an English tea time, except for instead of the dainty tea sandwiches and scones, they serve buttercream cakes and fruit tarts and streusel cakes. It's really a fun way to spend the afternoon and catch up with friends or have guests in your home. Let me show you around the tea table. The place setting for our coffee table is actually quite simple, and the forks you will notice are much smaller than we are used to over here. They tend to be just primarily for dessert and not a salad fork in their place settings. And the plates, you may have seen these in some of my previous segments. This is Villorin Bach Burgenland Blau, which is the Burgenland Blue, and it was designed in 1935. And I chose this as a bride in 1995 and it is now retired, but I do find it at flea markets. And we have this pattern in Germany and here so that we have continuity. And it's something that my husband grew up with, so very familiar. And it's really fun. And I wanted to show this to you because in Germany, when you're invited for coffee, it is a very simple and elegant table. It's not ostentatious. There's not a big display of florals and fabrics. It's very straightforward and simplistic yet elegant. And let me show you all about the teapots. These are more normal size. We also have some that are probably three times the size because traditionally they would come in off the field for coffee time, yes, even the farmers, and you had lots of people at the table. But this is more modern size. And you will notice that this is seated on a warmer. These were made even by Biller and Bach in the 90s. It's hard to find them with any new patterns, but it's very practical. It's a way to keep your coffee or your tea hot. And this is one that I found at a flea market and I like it because it goes with just about any pattern and it's got lots of area. So I placed the coffee pot on this. If you're in Germany and invited somewhere between three and four in the afternoon, you can expect that it involves cakes. Whether it's at someone's home or you meet up in town, you can savor your afternoon together and have a delicious bite. It's always nice to stroll through town and see the stylish ladies visiting with their friends and even the young people enjoying a slice of cake with their coffee. And I especially like to be invited. It's my favorite time of the day in Germany. I look forward to the different cakes that the hostesses offer. And my friend Theresia makes amazing cakes. And usually you can expect about five works of art on the table. It's absolutely such fun. A German coffee table is refined simplicity. You will not see an ostentatious display of florals or napkin rings or other embellishments that we like to use for afternoon tea. The hostess will often go to her garden and place some flowers and a simple vase. You might find a table runner such as this, which is also from Germany, or a square overlay, lots to be found at the flea market. And there's not a lot of fuss at the table great cakes, wonderful conversation, and again, it's my favorite time of the day. I prepared two traditional cakes. This is the Erdbeertorte, a strawberry tart, and a Thüringer Streuselkuchen, which is a streusel cake from a certain region of Germany. And it's always served with a side of whipped cream. And I'm using some vintage cake servers from the flea market in Germany. It's always fun to shop and find some of the old things to use. I've got quite a collection of those in Germany. And they actually make a cream spoon in the Villar and Bach pattern for serving cream. That's how important it is for the coffee table. There are so many napkin choices in Germany and they're all of great quality and wonderful printing. As mentioned, Villar and Bach also has a line of paper napkins. Duni is another brand 
These actually I found here at a party goods store and it's probably the most popular brand in Germany. And I will show you the napkin fold that we use today. This is a cocktail size napkin and it's actually quite thick. It's the Duny brand and we're going to open it into the square. <clears throat> and as you will see, it's already got the grid. So we will turn it diagonally and let the corners meet up and make a crease. And then we will take the other end diagonally and make a crease. So that's what we have to work with. And then we will go ahead and put it into original first fold. Okay, so now we have created that other fold. We will bring this across and flatten it and then flip it over. And we will do the same thing with the other side of the square. We will separate that, flatten it, and fold it over. And that is a very simple napkin fold. And then we will take these and just kind of round them out a little bit. It fans and it makes the perfect simple napkin fold for our place setting. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about this wonderful German tradition of Kaffee und Kuchen, coffee and cake. And if you find yourself on the continent touring a city, maybe you can pop into a local cafe and enjoy a slice of cake with a cup of tea or coffee. It's a wonderful thing that you may want to consider implementing in your home and having an afternoon time to invite guests and minimal effort to have great impact. Thanks again for joining our Coffee and Cake today. Get inspired to find simple ways to beautify your life and afternoon tradition. Auf Wiedersehen. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips. Thank you.